Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about truncating text in CSS. So this is kind of something that a lot of beginners tend to struggle with, so I wanted to touch on it. And I'm just gonna show you an example of where this is kind of useful. So you can see over here, we have this container. It's this little red container, and I just have a div up here, and then this truncate class. We've just given it a width and a height. And this is a common situation where you have text which overflows a container like this. And what we want to do is we want to indicate to the user visually that this is the situation without having the text bleed out like this. So let me show you a quick example of where this is kind of being used. So I'm over here on Reddit and you can see Reddit has this section where they have these cards for their subreddits. And down here we have a description and the description is only meant to show up on two lines. So they've only allocated two lines of space for the description. And you can see when the description is kind of uh, gets to the end, if there's more to the story, they truncate with this triple dot ellipsis. That's kind of what we're looking to do. You can see over here as well on these subreddit cards, um, when it overflows on one line, we get the ellipsis as well. So this is a situation where we want to use CSS in order to visually indicate to the user there's more text without the text bleeding over like that. So there's a couple of things that we can do, and there's actually two techniques that we can use to do this. One of them is supported on all the browsers. The other one, I don't think it quite works on Firefox, although that might change in the future. So the simplest way to do this would be, we can use the white space property. And the white space property has a couple of attributes. We're gonna use the no wrap property. No wrap, what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it so that instead of going down below and like wrapping down, the text is now only gonna go off to uh, on, on one single line. But you can see we still have the same problem where the text is kind of uh, wrapping off there. So what we can do then is we can say display, or no, sorry, we can say uh, uh, overflow. And the overflow property will cut off anything that goes outside of the container. So overflow hidden. And then the last thing we need to do is just add in the ellipsis. So that to do that, we can say text overflow ellipsis. And what that'll do then is it'll visually truncate the text so that we have those triple dots there. And you can see even here, it doesn't select the triple dots. Like it's a really good way of doing this because it's baked in right to CSS. Um, the problem with this technique though, is let's say that I increase the height of this container. So now the height is 2.2 EMs. And the problem is that we have enough space now. And actually I'm just going to get rid of this. We have enough space now for two lines of text to show up, but the ellipsis doesn't work. So unless we have this no wrap property, like you can see here, we should be able to show two lines of text and have it cut off, just like in this little subreddit card, but this technique doesn't work for that. So in order to do this, we're actually gonna need to um, try something else. So I have this other class up here, truncate two lines. So why don't we go ahead and add this truncate two lines here we can make it so that um, the text is going down to two lines and then it has the ellipsis and actually we can make it to go to any number of lines so the first thing we're going to do and this is all going to use these uh, webkit display properties now these like i said they should work in every browser except for firefox although you might want to check out because depending on when you're watching this video they might have added support but we're going to go ahead and make this a webkit box display type and then we're gonna say webkit line clamp to two. We're gonna say webkit box orient. And that's gonna be vertical. And then finally, what we wanna do is once again, say overflow hidden. So actually before I save this, and actually it, it did it automatically, but now you can see that if I get rid of this overflow hidden, what it does is it truncates the text and then like it's still going down over here. Um, but when we say overflow hidden, it hides that and then we have that truncation. So this is the easiest way for us to do this. Now you can also do this for any number of lines. So if I wanted to, I could say instead of two here, I could say one and then it would cut it off to one line. The only issue is then you'd have to shrink the size of the container so that it's only one line, right? So that's basically how we can truncate the text. You can control the number of lines and that's how a website like Reddit is probably doing this. Now, there is one other way of handling this and some websites do this as well, which is 
like if Reddit was getting this description from their server, the server itself would truncate the text. So on the web server, when they have the description, they would take the description and make it so that it was only two lines and then add in the ellipsis themselves. But it's a lot easier to just do this with CSS because it's just happening on the client side and uh, you don't have to do anything on the server. So hopefully that teaches you about truncating text. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. And otherwise I will see you in the next one.